Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm gonna explain Backrooms level 995, which is a very unsettling place that, to be honest, I think I've seen it in my dreams before. Thank you for watching, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? Also, if you wanna see a more personal side of me, go check out my vlog channel. It'll be the top link in the description below. Thank you. So Backrooms level 995, or as it's commonly known, Reality Aligned Houses, is classified as a class 4 difficulty because it's unsafe and unsecure, and it's also very volatile and glitchy. And you're gonna hear why in a second. The level itself looks like a never-ending straight road with houses on both sides of it. Now, trying to go off this road and get behind the houses is nearly impossible because of how strange the level's geometry is. So with real life regular geometry, it works the way where you can just walk one direction and not stop until you obviously like hit a wall. But for this level, the geometry of the reality here is so glitchy and messed up that you can't even walk, even though it looks like you can. It just won't let you walk back. In front of these houses, there's a bunch of cars. Most of them don't work because they're either missing parts like engines or motors or sometimes steering wheels, but some of them do work. Inside of the cars, there might be some random objects or tools that you can use. These artifacts and tools seem to all be random and strange and have no real meaning, but they're also found inside of the houses too. Now you can only get into some of the houses on this level, and if you do go inside of them, they look very liminal and almost like a real life house. And some people have claimed that they've even seen friends and family members houses here. And speaking of the houses, I'm going to talk a little bit about them now because they're very interesting to say the least. For the most part, they all resemble each other pretty closely. However, sometimes there is an instance where a different looking house will be in the row. And when you interact with those houses that look different, that's when the weird things will start to happen. The entry calls these weird things spatial distortions, which pretty much means that the environment will start to warp and change itself into something else. Typically, it'll change itself to a very liminal and nostalgic looking place, and you will really get the feeling like you've seen it or been there before. Almost like the entire level morphs into a dream of some kind. And during these dream sequences, many people have reported seeing houses moving and glitching and just floating and other random things being warped like that. Also, during these spatial distortions, the light on the level can be changed randomly from bright to dark to dim without warning. Overall, this level is so volatile and just very morphy and glitchy that you probably should avoid interacting with it. Even the entities on the level itself are affected by these distortions because they look weirder and they behave more out of the ordinary for their species and everything is just different about them. The entities that are mainly found here are the normal backrooms entities like wretches, death moths, hounds, that kind of thing. But they're all glitchy and they all warp in and out of existence, just like the rest of the level seems to. Now, there are a bunch of theories on why this level warps in and out of what you can see and what you can perceive, and one of them is called the glitched reality theory. And this next quote that I'm about to read comes from an anonymous mega researcher, and I think they explain it pretty well. Quote, so we got the test results today, and the outcome was quite shocking to be fully honest. The answers that we got were something that I wasn't personally expecting, so what we found was that these special accommodations on level 995 have something bewildering to them. When they questioned why they decided to interact with these, knowing the potential consequences of the spatial distortions, what we got was that these houses looked exactly like replicas from their homes in the front rooms. The reason we found this significant is that there are numerous amounts of similar claims. If this is true, then that could explain a certain correlation between level 995 and reality. For some reason, buildings from the front rooms also coexist here in the back rooms. This could be a reasonable explanation to why these glitches occur when trying to interact with one. A sort of fusion between two realities. The question is if the back rooms and the front rooms are related in some way. End quote. So yeah, if you didn't understand that, it was pretty lengthy. Pretty much, they think that the glitchiness of the houses here and of the whole level in general is because the back rooms and reality meet here on this exact level in some way. And this is like an in-between zone between both those realities. And that's why some of the houses look like they're from real life and they seem to be here in the back rooms, but they're also in real life. 
It's also why these spatial distortions happen, because it's not a steady plane of existence, it's constantly warping in and out of each other. I think that's a pretty good theory, and I think it would explain why people have seen their own houses or their friends' houses here in this level, even though they're obviously not in reality, they're in the back rooms. It's also thought that the longer you stay in this level and continue walking down the road and that kind of thing, and the longer you interact with it, the more warpy and glitchy and volatile and more it breaks down, the more the worse it gets overall. It'll eventually get to where it's just so glitching and warping between day and night and real life and back rooms that it'll be hard to exist there properly and you'll kind of just start phasing in and out of existence, which I don't think anyone wants to do that. So you probably need to know how to exit. There are no bases or outposts on this level because, to be honest, it would be too dangerous to stay here for long periods of time. But to enter the level, you can break into a house that's locked on level 9, which is only some of them. Most of them are unlocked, so you have to find one and you kick the door down. And to exit, you can find a blue house that kind of looks out of place, walk inside of it, and then it'll be sent back to level 63, which is probably better than being here. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for my explanation of Backrooms Level 995. I think this one is extremely weird and very dream core in a way. I really liked it. It gave me this cool, familiar vibe, as I said at the beginning, kind of like I've seen it in a dream before. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. Let me know why you think it's glitchy, why you think it interacts with reality, or if you think it's in reality. I'm interested to hear what you say. I'll heart everybody's comment that I see. Also, let me know what other levels that you want me to go over. I'm always open to adding more to my schedule, and I, I just want to do what you all want to see, obviously. Anyways, thank you so much for your support. I love and appreciate all of you, and I will see you all in the next video. Hope you have a great day. Peace. Also, make sure to check the description below and subscribe to my second channel, Brugly2, where I vlog and show real-life stuff and talk to you all. It's just very chill over there. We're cataloging in my life, a random 20-year-old YouTuber's life. So if you want to be a part of it, if you want to grow it, sub over there, turn noties on. I'm trying to upload three times a week on there, and I think you all are really enjoying the content, and I really appreciate you for watching. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.